Pardon me for asking, but who's that little old man? Uh, what little old man? That little old man. Oh, that one, that's my grandfather. Your grandfather? Yeah. That's not your grandfather. It is, you know. But I've seen your grandfather. He lives in your house. Oh, that's my other grandfather, but he's my grandfather as well. How do you reckon that one out? Well, everyone's entitled to two, aren't they? And it's my other one. We know that, but what's he doing here? Well, my mother thought the trip would do him good. How's that? He's nursing a broken heart. Ah, oh, poor old thing. Hey, mister, are you nursing a broken heart? He's a nice old man, isn't he? He's very clean. Hello, grandfather. Hello. He can talk, then, can he? Of course he can talk. He's a human being, isn't he? Well, if he's your grandfather, who knows? <laughs> And we're looking after him, are we? I look after myself. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. He's got you worried, then. Him! He's a villain. A real mixer. And he cost you a fortune in breach of promise cases. Get on. No, straight up. I am. Hello, Shake. Hello, Shake. You got on all right, then? No. Oh. Well, we're here. Norm will be along in a minute with the tickets. Hey, who's the little old man? It's Paul's grandfather. Oh, I but I thought... Uh... No, that's his other one. Oh, that's all right, then. Clean, though, isn't he? Oh, aye, he's very clean. Morning, lads. Hi, Hi Norm. Morning, Norm. How's it going? Oh, thank God you've all got here. So. Now, look, I've had a marvellous idea. Just for once, let's all try to behave like ordinary, respectable citizens. Let's not cause any trouble, pull any strokes, or do anything I'm going to be sorry for. Especially tomorrow in that television theatre, because... Are you listening to me, Lennon? You're a swine. Any George? Yeah, the swine. Thanks. Hey! Who's, who's that little old man? man? Well, who is he? He belongs to Paul. Oh, well. I'm going down for a cup of coffee. Anyone coming? We'll follow you down. I want me coffee. Well, you can come with Shake and me if you like. And look after him. I don't want to find you've lost him. Don't be cheeky. I'll bind him to me with promises. Very clean, isn't he? Come back, Granddad. Make it for mine, will you? if we have it open? Yes, I do. Yeah, but there are four of us, and we'd like it open. Not if it's all the same to you, that is. It isn't. I travel on this train regularly, twice a week. So I suppose I have some rights. So have we. Then we'll have that thing off as well, thank you. But uh, an elementary knowledge of the Railway Act would tell you that I'm perfectly within my rights. Yeah, but we want to hear it. There's more of us than you. We're a community, a majority vote, up the workers and all that stuff. Then I suggest you take that damn thing into the corridor. Or some other part of the train. Where you obviously belong. Give us a kiss. Look, mister, we pay for our seats too, you know. I travel on this train regularly, twice a week. Knock it off, Paul. You can't win with his sword. After all, it's his train, isn't it, mister? And don't take that tone with me, young man. I fought the war for your sword. I bet you saw you won. I shall call the guard. Ah, but what? They don't take kindly to insults, you know. Come on, let's go and have some coffee and leave the kennel to Lassie. 